What if you had to start your life all over again? 145 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle, that's exactly what the residents of the Swedish town of Kiuna are going to have to do. Over the next 20 years, the town of 18,000 will have to entirely relocate two miles east. If not, the town will cave in as a result of the formation of fissures in the ground from a nearby mine. But how do you move a town two miles east? We went to Stockholm to the headquarters of the Swedish-based architectural firm White to talk to project manager and lead architect Krister Lindstedt to find out. In the heart of Södermalm, one of Stockholm's central neighborhoods, Lindstedt and his colleagues are working on a project titled Kiuna Forever, which creates a sustainable vision for the long-term expansion of the city eastwards. The city got a note from the mining company about 15 years ago, so that's when the plan planning started from the point of view of the municipality. White was given the responsibility of designing the town after winning an architectural competition against groups of other architectural firms across Europe. Kiruna is a um, arctic, uh, subarctic city, or it's actually it's an arctic city with a subarctic climate in uh, northern Sweden, a mining city, uh, and uh, the project is about moving the city. But the question remains, how long does it take to move a city? city is never finished uh, so that's why it's, hard. it's difficult to say when the city will be finished but this municipality has a planning horizon on 20 years and that's what we're working on and by that time about uh, half of its citizens will be directly affected by of having to move so uh, that's uh, around 2030 or a couple of years into 2034 or something Two buildings in the town will be kept in their original form. The first being the town church which will be taken down and rebuilt piece by piece. And the second, the town hall's clock tower. The project is not only ambitious, but something Lindestedt describes as unique. Uh, it's not unique in the sense that you have to move uh, settlements, because that has happened before. I know that there are examples in Europe, in uh, northern England or in Scotland, but in this case it's really moving the city centre. So, in that sense, the scope of this project is unique in Europe. The LKAB mining area is the largest iron ore seam in the world and produces 90% of Europe's iron ore, an equivalent of six Eiffel Towers when mined daily. We see the, the need for a relocation as a real opportunity to do something different and do something that serves the citizens of Kirana in a different way than the present city. So, it's definitely an opportunity to do something great. I would like to advise you to go to Kiruna. It's a wonderful experience. Um, the people there are very hospitable. They are, it's not any old town. It's a city where people come from about 100 years ago, invented the city, and it's still that kind of feeling when you get there. In five or 10 years, it will be a wonderful city to visit as well.